here is lock them up and throw away the key. And I don't think that's fair. I wish that people would understand and know and come to know that uh, they're just looking for a little help and direction in a new life that they so desperately want to, to uh, begin. Given the fact that a lot of these individuals haven't had a chance growing up, yes, they made a mistake. They paid the price. They see the error of their ways. And to keep classifying someone for something they did in the past, I think that's sad. And we all have a past. We're all in need of forgiveness and we're all in need of a, a second chance. So it kind of hurts, I feel, for the guys. When I hear people talk about felons, uh, oftentimes it, it saddens me because um, you hear things that are less than positive. Kingdom Boundaries, we try to help people see that it's not necessarily that way. In fact, it's not that way most of the time. Most of these individuals are just ordinary people that made a mistake for various reasons. While in prison, they've had a chance to sober up. They've had a chance to take some classes. They've had a chance to maybe learn a trade. They want to just live the American dream. They just need help and they want to be given a chance. I wish that they knew that the majority of these people coming out of our prisons are good people who have just simply made some bad decisions. And in some cases that's cost, cost them dearly. Kingdom Boundaries is important to me because it's important to our Father in Heaven. He's called me and my wife Rhonda uh, to walk alongside these guys as they leave the prison system to show them that they have value that they're one of God's kids. If you prayerfully consider this ministry as a place to contribute to, I would just encourage you to stop by, see what we do, see where we're headed, maybe talk to some of the guys. Oh, I would just encourage any individual that feels remotely called to help in this, in this ministry to stop by. Come to Kingdom Boundaries, visit with the guys, join the Bible study, get to know these people, have a meal with them, sit down and get to know them. Just understand that they're not scary people. They're not the people that the TV and the news uh, portrays them to be. I would just like to say thank you. There's a lot of success stories, and it's due to people like you that have been supporting Kingdom Boundaries. The supporters of Kingdom Boundaries, especially those who have been involved in this ministry for many years, there's still miraculous stories. There's still testimonies that are, are being written as we speak. Uh, and uh, at the end, it's all about did we share the gospel. As our director often says, 100% of the time, men will hear the gospel at Kingdom Boundaries.